This last week, I listened to a podcast um, hosted by Krista Tippett in her program On Being. And she was interviewing a clinical psychologist named Christine Runyon. I commend this podcast to you. And the whole interview was about the effect of the pandemic on our nervous system. Can you imagine that? That the pandemic has had an impact on our nervous system. And in the course of this interview, uh, Runyon said something that struck me um, profoundly. She said, we are trying to grieve a trauma that is still ongoing. Trying to grieve a trauma that is still ongoing. You know, sometimes we have traumatic events that happen, they're over, and then, you know, we have to go through that long grieving process, that processing of the pain and the loss and all of that. But the event itself, you know, is over. The challenge we face during the pandemic is that the trauma is daily. And of course, it's the trauma of social dislocation, it's trauma of daily loneliness, it's the trauma of daily awareness of, of the death and carnage this virus is bringing. It's, it's our own fear, conscious or unconscious, that you know, we live under that kind of threat. And so how do we grieve a trauma while it is still happening day after day after day and has been going on now for over a year? Well, one of the things she mentioned from a psychological perspective is the importance of naming what is going on, really being honest about what is going on. And when she said that, I said, yeah, that's what we have in our biblical tradition. We have the Jews who were able to name the ongoing trauma in their life, which was the exile. They were trying to grieve a trauma that was ongoing. And boy, they were able to name it. So many of the Psalms name what is going on. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I have perplexity in my mind and grief in my heart day after day? For them being strangers in a strange land was an ongoing trauma that they were able to name. Are we able to name this and be honest about it? You know, when people ask us how we're doing, do we say, oh, well, you know, it's hard, but. Well, maybe what we need to learn to say is, I am not doing well. The number of people I've been talking to, myself included, <laughs> who are just feeling exhausted and, you know, we're not remembering things the way we used to remember them, but we're more irritable. People are getting more anxious as the pandemic goes on, even though we're getting perhaps closer to the end. You know, can we name that honestly? And importantly, as we do, bring that to God. There are no quick fixes. But what we do know from the Jews' experience is that when they brought these things to God, almost all of their prayers eventually end with the fact that God delivered them. Not immediately but they end with praise that they were heard and that something shifted. Let us bring what we're going through to God, honestly, this grief that we have day after day. And trust that if we bring it to God, God can do something with it.